do you want to get out of bunkers more consistently? I thought you might, because these bunkers are causing all handicappers trouble, especially the higher handicappers. You guys, these stats from ShotScope, 25 handicappers. You're having two or more shots when you get into a bunker 45% of the time. 45% of the time. Like, if we can start just getting you out, forget about the pin, forget about uh, getting it close and trying to get up and down. If I just have to get you out of this bunker so you can have a putt or a chip, let's do it. So what are the common mistakes that I see golfers make in a bunker? Common mistake number one is putting so much loft on of your golf club when it's already got enough on there. I've got a 58 degree wedge and I'm hardly opening a face on a standard bunker shot. I see golfers laying it right down like flat on the floor and their defense to that is oh it'll use the bounce more. Well yeah but when you're doing this next most common mistake I see golfers make in bunkers. I see golfers hitting so aggressively down into the sand that all the power disappears and you've got so much loft on there that it's no wonder that that ball just pops up, hits the lip, comes back down and you have another go and you have another go. So here are my key tips to getting out of the bunker first time. Let's say that your golf club is pointing at 12 o'clock. Golf club, lean edge, pointing at 12 o'clock. I only want you to open it to around one o'clock, not laying it flat on the ground to like <laughs> three o'clock. Let's turn it just a smidge open. That'll still give you a bit extra bounce to use in the bunker. I also want you to stop hitting down into the sand really aggressively. I know people say, take loads of sand, hit it really hard. Yeah, you can hit it really hard, but if you're hitting aggressively into the sand, all that power is totally disappearing into the sand rather than getting onto that golf ball to help it get up and out of the bunkers. I want you to feel like you are gonna have a bit of an arc in your bunker shots. When I see people hitting down and hard, one of the most common mistakes that I see, they lead with the handle excessively to hit down into that sand and pop that ball up. I need you to have more of an arc. So an arc of coming into the golf ball, it squares up and then it comes back in to the golf ball. So in to square to in, in to square to in. And to achieve that in to square to in motion, You've got to let that club head pass the handle. No leading with that handle anymore. This is the thing that I see transform golfers bunker play no end. Yes, the open face or too excessively open face does help change it, but this is the big one. I need you to start feeling like you release the club. Let that club head pass the handle. Yeah, it'll also help you keep that loft on the face. So again, just twisting that face a little bit open adds a little bit of loft, which is great. We've already got loads of loft on there. For a bunker like this, this is probably nearly up to my shoulder height to get out of, so it's pretty steep. If you're in a pot bunker like a Lynx course, you might need that extra bit of open face, but for a bunker like this, you don't need to be excessively opening it. Twist that face open to one o'clock then grip it. Set yourself up and I'm setting myself up with a slightly closed stance. This will be my tip number three. I see way too many people with open stance which encourages you to hit down into that golf ball, leading with that handle, all that energy disappearing. Closing your stance will allow you to come a lot shallower into the golf ball. It will allow you to get that into square motion easier. Into square, let that club release. Then you've got your in bit after the golf ball. Three simple tips to help you get out of these bunkers so much more consistently. Club face at one o'clock. Close your stance a little bit to help with the in to square to in path. And then we need that release rather than driving with that handle 
to help also with that in to square to in path as well. Add all that up together, one o'clock, grip it, weight slightly on my left side, close stance, and then I'm gonna feel like I'm going in, releasing that club past me. Look at that, like I've hardly hit that. And that's easily getting distance. I'll show you my divot in just a sec, but let's just do that once more. That was such a nice little strike. Impact is so inoffensive to the ground. I'm not losing any energy. I'll add a bit more speed to this one, but I really don't need to. That's easily got out. It's got so much height on it. One o'clock with my face, then grip it. Close start, release that club to get that into square to in. And I fatted that one and look how much height it's getting still. And that, is, that result is brilliant, but I'll show you the divots. Check those out. Like they're super shallow. This one started here, ended here. This one started here, ended here. So similar length on both of them, but the second one is a tiny bit deeper. This is what I see when people start leading with the handle. Deep, aggressive, like, I could probably leave that and no one would even know I've been in here. That, however, your ball's going to sit in there and you're going to complain that someone hasn't raked the bunker. <laughs> Three simple tips to help you get out of bunkers more consistently. Come on, guys. Let's start changing those stats for shot scope. You've got to start getting out of bunkers more. And again, just forget about pin if you struggle with it. Get it out. Have another chip. Have a putt if you can. Don't leave it in that bunker two or three times. Get it out, start enjoying your golf more, start improving your golf scores even more as well. If you're enjoying the content and liking the videos, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up, and if you are enjoying the content because you've hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification on as well so you get updated of when I upload all my new videos. I hope that helps transform your bunker play. Thanks all for watching. See you in the next video.